My name is Liliana Barrera, and I'm a USRP intern. Hi, my name is Rhodes Coffin, and I'm a USRP intern. Hi, my name is Hannah Franklin, and I'm a USRP intern. Hi, my name is Liliana Barrera. I was born in El Paso, Texas. I go to school at the University of Texas at El Paso, and I'm major in mechanical engineering. I work in EA3, which is the systems integration office. I work in the mock-up facility on the Orion CV mock-up. Orion is a capsule where the astronauts are going to be traveling in in the Ares One. Behind me is the Orion CV mock-up. This is a mock-up of the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle. It's a spacecraft designed to take astronauts from Earth to low Earth orbit and to the International Space Station and also to be used in lunar missions. So let's take a look inside. So this is the inside of the mock-up and what we do here, what my main project is to work simultaneously with the 3D CAT models in the computer and we update everything that's inside so it can look just as it is in the model. Every day that you, you walk around JSC and you see all the amazing stuff they do and it's just unbelievable and it's, it's an amazing experience. Hi, my name is Rhodes Coffey, Rice University, Mechanical Engineering. So for my project I was working in the Engineering Structures Department in the Materials and Processes Branch and my actual project was working on something called an electron beam freeform fabrication. And this system is actually a 3D printer of metals. So just imagine that you put in a CAD model into the computer and this system turns out an actual part or anything that you could use outside of the EBF3 system. Hey there, we're in the Structures Testing Lab right now and this is where we conduct crack growth and fracture toughness testing on material specimens. So what we do is we take a material specimen, it kind of looks like this, and we cyclically load it back and forth after a crack has been propagated and see that crack grow to a certain length until the material actually fractures and breaks. And we use that data to test how tough the material is. And you can see here the different load frames that we work on and we load the specimens into the load frame and put uh, in the system what kind of loads we want to cyclically load it at up to 20,000 pounds per square inch. I actually took a whole year off and so I, I was lucky enough to get the USRP internship and I feel like this opportunity is so much more valuable during undergraduate than it would be you know, if I graduated on time without having an internship and just look for a job like normal. Having an internship, especially during the spring or fall, is really important because it gives you a lot more experience in an actual work environment and doing a research project that you're working on every day uh, versus going back to college and taking classes because you're already focused on that and you're already used to that and this kind of takes you out of your element in a good way. Hi, I'm Hannah Franklin. I'm a sophomore at Seattle University and I'm a biochemistry major. I am working with the Astromaterials Research and Exploration Science Directorate. Basically what we're working on is a biologically based sort of life support system. We're trying to look at a large population of organisms and pick out one that's really iron resistant because the surface of the moon, the, the lunar soil, is hugely high in iron and titanium. Uh, what we have here are the, actually the abundance results of the functions in each of the microbiomes. So right here is the chocolate pots microbiome, which is the iron depositing hot spring. So, and then here over here we have the mushroom spring microbiome, which is the quote unquote normal hot spring. Working at NASA is just, you really are plugged into a community that's, you know, physically doing things that are happening right now. The shuttle launch, for instance, you know, everyone's contributing to that. That's why I've encouraged a life science major to apply because it really, really expands your perspective and gives you um, a new look at what you can do with your degree. 